What's up YouTube? Isaac here uh, at you again. Sorry for the poor video quality last time, but I, I hooked it up and now I'm going to give this one to you in HD. So what I'm here to show you is a, is a kind of a simple, fairly easy way to get some uh, external tempo control for your Korg uh, Volca series synth or the Monotribe 2. This should work. Basically, any of the Korg synths that have this sort of uh, analog sync in and out um, should be the one that uh, works with this technique, okay? So basically the whole point is that uh, that sort of sync control is, is an analog signal. So I'm just gonna plug in right now to this sort of sync out jack and you'll actually hear a series of clicks coming from my amp. So that's the noise that's actually controlling the tempo. And you can see as I turn the tempo knob up, it increases and as I turn it down, it decreases. So when you are sync controlling your Korg Volk or Monotribe, it's just an audio signal that's sort of setting it from an external source. So when you've got three of these guys hooked up, they're just sending that signal down the chain. So we're gonna we're gonna sort of take advantage of that. Uh, and essentially what we're gonna do is record that click and we're gonna send it to another device that's capable of playing it back, and we can manipulate the time on that other device. In this case, it's gonna be my Android tablet. But it could be your smartphone, it could be your computer, heck, it could even be a, a, an analog cassette player or something like that. So essentially what you want to do is plug in, this is just an eighth inch stereo jack to that sync out port that we just had it in. Plug it into your computer's uh, mic input or to an external recorder uh, and record it in your favorite uh, recording software. In this case, I'm using Audacity because it's free and I use Linux. Um, so this is what it looks like, just a series of pulses, and if I play it, you can hear, that's just what it sounds like. I did it on a slow setting, which I think is probably a good idea, and I had the volume pretty far up. Now, depending on how your sound card works, it might come in as a stereo track. If it does, you want to make sure you split it into a mono track. That's easy in Audacity just by going over here and doing uh, sort of split stereo to mono, and then just make sure you have a mono track. So once you have all these clicks in, what you want to do is basically just zoom in with the zoom tool until you can kind of see one of them. So you just want to make sure that you can take your editor, so you take your sort of uh, selection tool, and, and, and you really just want to select the, the click, right, from one to the other, like that. And you just want to make sure you zoom in far enough where you can get this exactly lined up. And you want to clip that out, copy paste it into a new track so that you have just one of them. And once you have that done, what you want to do is simply go uh, file and then you want to export. And then you just want to make sure that uh, this thing down here says um, uh, wave 16 bit PCM. Okay, so click that, you save it. In this case, I'm just calling it Korg Sync Click Wave. You hit save. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. And basically what it does is export a single wave file that you can actually then transfer to anything. Now if you're doing this uh, analog on a cassette player, you can you can sort of just record one click if you're good at that kind of thing. And, and uh, I'm not going to give you those instructions because I'm doing this digitally. But the point is that once you have one single click, you can send it to any device that can sort of manipulate the time and then you can then use that to control your synth here. So what I've got here uh, is an Android tablet, seven inch, and I've got a little app loaded in called uh, Drummer's Metronome. And this is a cool app uh, that really gives you a bunch of control over the tempo, including tap tempo. Um, but what I'm gonna do right now is plug everything in. So I'm gonna basically plug the, uh, the audio out to my amp. And this is the sort of audio out from my tablet. I'm going to plug to the sync in, okay? Uh, and now you can see that the tempo light has stopped flashing because my metronome is not running. So if I hit uh, start, you'll notice that the metronome is, is doing its thing and this guy is flashing. So it's just sending that signal, click, 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 uh, right into the, to the synth right now. So I'm just going to hit play on this guy. So that's coming from the amp, and it's basically just one of the built-in patterns that Core gives you. So you can see what it's doing. If I go over here and I just tap it faster, 
you can hear it go fast. All right, cool. And I can tap it slower. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is load in. So these are all the different beats. You got the quarter notes, the eighth notes, triplets, the sort of sixteenth notes, and then you got these. You can actually see these are the sort of quarter notes, and you actually make them rest. So what you can do is bring in, say, the eighth note, and it goes twice as fast. You can bring that down. Sometimes it's a little hard to get a grip on that. Bring in the triplets. It kind of sounds cool. Now what's really cool is that you can then pause. So, ah, so you're giving it sort of a rest, double rest. You see, whenever those squares turn blue, they're not actually playing a click. And whenever there's no click, the note is held. Now if I bring it really fast up. Wow, okay, cool. Alright, so I think you get the whole point of that. You can get some really cool tempo glitch and really cool control over your tracks, your uh, uh, sort of recorded tracks that are in the sequencer here. And uh, this will work with any of the Cold Volca, Volca series and the Monotribe too. But anyway, I hope you found that useful. Catch you on the flip side.